The first place I want to start and, and talk to you today is about loading external data. So how do I go about bringing this data, Kogo kind of data, into my environment? Specifically, how do I import points? Uh, we have an import horizontal points from ASCII tool. It's a quite flexible tool that allows you to bring data in in about any format that you want. So whether that data is coordinates, XYs, or northeast, you can bring that in. We can even bring in station offset information if you have known points out there related to some uh, controlling geometry or controlling alignment. Uh, we also fully support descriptions now. Now that wasn't true always. It's a, a fairly new addition to the software that we've added that all points have descriptions on them and we do support them for the input as well as export functionalities. Now when you bring data in from an ASCII file we use something we call a text import wizard and what that wizard allows you to do is define the format of that file that you're bringing data in from. So you can define what the delimiters are or the fixed widths columns, uh, what kind of symbols you're using for the delimiters, for text qualifiers, all of that information very flexibly, and bring in many different formats of files. So let's take a look at that. I've got two different files that we want to bring in today. This first one is a series of terrain points. The terrain points are stored in northeast coordinates, and we're bringing in information to including the point name, the feature description, the northing, the easting, and the elevation. So we can see all the point names here in the first column, the feature descriptions in the second column, and notice that the feature descriptions do include their full path of where that feature is available inside the OpenNote software. Descriptions, we do support uh, multi-word descriptions, in this case palm tree that's got a space in the middle of it, even though our space is our delimiter for the other items, by enclosing that in double quotes, we can still read it in. And then finally, we had our northeast and elevation coordinates. The second file that I want to bring in today is a road file that's based on stations and offset elevations. So the first left three columns in here are the same, points, features, and descriptions. But now I've got station and offset information. So let's go in and bring that in. We'll run that with the create horizontal points from ASCII file tool. It prompts us whether or not we need to select a reference geometry. For this first one we don't, we're just bringing in that terrain data. So we'll reset out of that and then we'll go select the terrain point file. At this point we could specify the feature definition that we want to apply to all that, but I don't need to do that because I've got those already defined in my ASCII file. What I do need to do is define a text import wizard to bring that data in. So we'll go ahead and define a new text import wizard for this. On the first tab, we define which lines to read out of that file. I'm going to tell it to read everything from the first line to the end of the file. We're going to come back and adjust that in a minute, but for now we'll start there. Now we come over and we define how the columns are laid out. Now the reason I brought in that first line of the file is I already have in there what each column represents, and that's going to help me fill these out. So I know the first one was my points, this is my feature description, here's my description. Um, oh, and I go to set my northern, but notice that it's not interpreting palm tree right. It's seeing that space in there as a delimiter. Now as I scroll further down and I get other descriptions like just the word spot, that's working, and I do see my northern and eastern coordinates lining up as I expect but these descriptions where I had a space currently are a problem. So what I need to do is go tell my import wizard that that double quote is being used as a text qualifier and then it brings that palm tree description together and then I can assign my northing, my easting, and my elevation column headers. Now that I have all of those defined, I really don't want to import this first row of the file so I'm going to go back and change it to tell it to start the import at row 2. Everything looks pretty good at this point, so we'll click Next to move to the review stage and, and set any filters that I may want to set in here. I don't need any, so we'll click Finish. And I can save off this text import wizard, so I can come back and reuse that later. So once you've defined it once, you're going to probably keep bringing in the same type of file, so you can reuse those. We click OK, it brings in the data. 
Notice we got two types of points. We got some crosshairs where we just had some random elevation points. And we've got some palm trees that we brought in here, the green data. So it is reading the feature definitions. Now this next piece of data we want to bring in relative to this alignment in here. So we're going to go through the same process again. It's the same command. Difference is at the beginning I'm going to select my reference geometry. Now I'll select the road points file that I want to bring in. And I'll go define a text import wizard. I've already got that one defined, so we'll just go select the existing definition and click import, and those points are brought in. So very simply, we can bring in ASCII point data through the text import wizard to define the formats and allows a lot of flexibility in bringing in about any kind of data you need to.